Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you full AP nukes at Jawani Jungle. For our runes, we took Dark Harvest, Sun Impact with Eyeball, Ravenous with Absolute Focus and Gathering Storm. So Jawani has some really good AP scalings. I'm surprised more people don't play her full AP nuke like they would with a Diana or an Echo. Her Q has 60% AP scaling. Her W has collectively 80%. Her E has 60% and her R has 80%. Pretty solid for damaging abilities in her passive makes her very tanky we're gonna start with our bot lane for the best leash possible and we're gonna five camp clear into scuttle should be full hp should get there pretty much on time if you full clear you will be late to scuttle so Juani's full clear is like 325 326 ish so Juani does play best when she has melee champions on her team to help her stack her e after a uh, large monster or champion has been autoed Four times by a melee auto, you get to stun them for free with your E, like you're seeing me do here. And your W applies two, two stacks of, of the four as well. But it's pretty easy to stack up. We're gonna auto attack in W to get the monsters off of us. It will push them away. All it takes is two autos and one W if you land both sides of it. I'll attack W. And I'll finish off this little guy. Level 3, very healthy. We go in wraps into red buff now. Went over the wall to get there a little bit quicker. We're up against Danunu. I think this matchup's fine for Sejuani. Sejuani isn't the best tank jungler out there. But uh, that shouldn't matter because we're not going tank. She is one of the best scaling tank junglers, though. She scales pretty dang good. Compared to a Nunu, or even a Ramus for that matter. Because Sejuani has a bunch of armor and magic resist, not just armor. Alright, smited it. We did a 5 camp clear around the 3 minute mark, so we'll have time to gank. We're going to come up behind this team. We'll try to walk into him with our W without having to Q, ideally. All right, we got him with the second part of our W. We had to flash for it. We might have been able to Q him, but I wanted to get there as soon as possible so he didn't finish the allow. He doesn't have TP. Ah, uh, it sucks. Nunu got it. Oh, well. I'll go mid next. I don't have flash. You can W then Q. Like I said, team will flash, so I just wanted to get there instantly. Auto attack W. We get our E down. And she's dead. That's some big damage. That's why I love playing Sejuani with uh, melee champions. Woo, baby! <laughs> Look at that damage! Sejuani Katarina is actually stupid strong. Katarina auto set up your E stun. That's free Scuttle Crab. We have 100% KP. Both sides of your W does damage. The second part, though, does the majority of the damage and it's slow. So it's most important to land the second part. First part doesn't do a whole lot. Might as well land both. Let's go bot side. We'll try to come up behind them as they shove up here. They have a lot of minions. This might get kind of challenging. Go for the karma because she's low. Alright. I'm going to hit her with my W. I'm not going to let her suicide that easily she was trying to give the kill to thresh i think thresh was the last person to hurt her and then she split to try to keep her 80 carry alive so they weren't running in the same direction we'll try to keep playing around the kata kata and allow their melee autos thresh autos technically aren't even melee they count as range so they don't stack your e for you and we're full HP. <laughs> it's actually funny how good Sejuani is with how underplayed she is. She is very underrated. She is, she's pretty solid. I'd say she's somewhere in C tier. She's a C tier champion right now. Since they've nerfed Conqueror and Gore Drinker, it's made her a lot more viable. Auto attack W. Aw, oh, come on. Lame. Ooh, almost killed her with my W. Sheesh. That was really close. It's almost in range. She's level 6 now. She's going to try to kill me with her R. 
I think Katarina kills her here. Or at least almost. I was close. I'm almost level 6. Should probably just back after this Raptor camp, though. We're pretty... Ooh, back to full health. Never mind. That was quick. Very quick indeed. Top lane doesn't really look gankable at the moment. Might as well back and spend our gold. On first back, I think you just want to go for the Dark Sill. And boots. Tier 1 boots. And then uh, just grab a huge chunk of this. Grab as much of your rocket belt as you can possibly get. If you don't like using activatable items, if you forget to use them, you should go for a right harvester instead, since you don't actually have to press it like you do with rocket belt. I like using activatables, and rocket belt gives quite a bit more stats if you actually use it. I'll go gank mid here shortly. Auto attack Q. Can cancel the monster out of its auto attack with your knockup or with your pushback on your W. So here, like I can auto W. Nice. Yeah, Ori's got a lot of health right now. She's chugging potions. We can kill her super quick though. I mean, Kata, I have Dark Harvest, Kata has Electrocute. Those alone will do like a fourth of her health. She's a goner. Yeah, she died instantly. She died in under two seconds there. Just a QW. You can even WQ, but normally if you W then Q, you'll always miss the first part of your W, and I like to land both parts. I only WQ if I know I can only reach them with the second part anyways. Don't know where Nunu is. We're about to find out. He's bot side. He's trying to find something. Can I kill Karma here? I think I can actually kill Karma because I have red buff. Just hit her with the W auto attack. He stunned Q. Oh, there we go. Nice. You always want to try to get off your E stun before you are stunned. Because once you stun someone, you can't stun them for another 10 seconds. So if you are stunned, you can't E stun for 10. But you can E stun, and then you can even still R stun. Because they're always going to stun no matter what. But for you to use your E stun, if they've been stunned by you within like the last 10 seconds, a champion, then you can't stun them. You can stun monsters as much as you want, though. There's no cooldown on it against monsters. I'll, I'll just keep going mid. It's too free. Might as well grab Dragon Ball Re Oh, someone just worded it. That's lame. I don't think they can quite see into the pit right now. Yeah, we can't do this. Got it. I oh wait, Kaisa's in here. I didn't even realize. I hung out my teammates a little bit there. Oh, you're dead, Karma. All played. I can still probably kill Jin, right? Maybe. Maybe not. If he tries to shove in that wave, possibly. Nah, he just left it. I'll go for opposite side scuttle. My R is coming up as well. I might be able to find a gank top side. Team was low. We could probably pinch that. Our Dark Harvest has done 309 damage. That's more than our sudden impact by a large margin. Sudden impact's only done 97. Since your Q's on a long cooldown, you don't want to use it in situations where you're in like positioned aggressively. So you, like, you don't want it to be on cooldown when you might need it, you know what I mean? So since I'm playing all the way up here, I know a team was walking over here. I'll go mid again. So, or it's just too easy to kill. I think her flash is up. I'm not going to R for this. It's not worth it. I'm not going to be able to quite kill him. I have to go mid. Yeah, she's running. Nunu's on his blue right now. Nope. He's playing it safe. They might be coming for me. 
Yeah, I think she is. Got it. Yeah, I, th I think Ori was moving over here, but she stopped. She might be afraid I can kill her, which I can. She walks into me because I can auto attack W and uh, auto attack E and I'll still have my Q to run her down. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and max our Q second. Gets a lower cooldown and it gets higher damage. Your E only gets higher damage. Ori has tier two boots. She might have worded this spot if Nunu was pinging it. it. Got my stun off. Bop, she's dead. Easy cheesy. Get it. Oh. I hope she got that. I hate it when cannons go to waste. Aliyah went bot side. Wow. That's some commitment. She went all the way down there. Got a double out of it. Now Kata just needs to rotate top. I don't feel like diving. I don't trust Kata to actually follow my dive. Got rocket belt, we'll grab uh, sork shoes. And then just grab an amp tome. Second item, void staff's not bad if they're stacking magic resist. They're not though. So we would realistically just go for a Robodon. A Robodon would be really good. Give super high value. Horizon focus wouldn't be awful. Yeah, Timo's running. I'm heading up there right now. Just rocket belt into him, get the movement speed when moving towards the enemy champions. We're gonna W, Q into him. We land our W2. He's a goner. It's worth skipping some of our golems for a kill. Kill's worth like three monster camps essentially. Go we'll mid here in a second. We'll dash out blue smiter. I'm gonna raw R, knock her up, she's dead. If you break the stun, like if they're stunned and you hit them, it does a bunch of damage. It does a lot, a lot of damage. If it if it's the first time they've been stunned by you recently, you'll do 10% of their max health damage. It's kind of nuts. It's a lot of extra damage. Karma is very diveable. I'm gonna rocket belt into her. Blue Smiter, she's dead. I took like <laughs> not that much damage three, for three turret shots. That's not too bad. Three or four shots. Nunu's top side. Dragon's coming up. I think their AD carry is gonna step up for the wave. I think he would. We, we could just go mid. I was waiting for their AD carry though. I might just pop over the wall. Yeah, just Q over. Got her flash. Jeez, this, this Orion is really letting me have it. Should probably just grab Dragon now. Her flash foiled my plans. Two of them mid right now. We have time to take our camps. Cat should be fine. Double dragon playing for soul. Haven't really been going for heralds. It's hard for me to show you guys like a full build or multiple items when I rush down heralds because they just end up surrendering when you take too many turrets. If you're really, really trying to get that dub though, heralds are the way to go in the early game. And that's it. They quit. They, they couldn't handle it. Right as I say that, a 15 minute it. If you guys enjoyed this full AP Sejuani jungle video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.